Hi, this is Rick Rise from HighDefColor.com. In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about preparing files for the new spot dimensional coding that is now available at HighDefColor.com. Spot dimensional coding is a raised, high gloss spot coding that will create a textured feel to your printed projects. The spot dimensional coating is available on our digital presses at highdefcolor.com. We are creating this image uh, entirely within Photoshop CS5. Uh, you can see we have our CMYK image of the football, our logo, and our type. And we've also included all of our bleed in the actual image itself. Um, there is no reason to actually create extra work for yourself and create this image out of InDesign. We're going to do the complete design and production right out of Photoshop. You can see right now we have our, uh, our direct mail piece and the way the spot dimensional coding works, it works by creating a selection and the selection that you create is going to be the textured or the raised high gloss coding. So over here in our channels, you will notice that um, we have our cyan, magenta, yellow, and black file. And I have already created a, uh, a selection called uh, dimensional. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to isolate this dimensional selection and show you the actual coding that's going to be applied to the product. So the areas that are in black are the areas that will have the spot dimensional coding. These will be the areas that will be raised and be in high gloss. So you can see we've selected the actual dimples of the football and this will give us the feel of the actual ball itself. So it's important to note that this dimensional channel, the channel itself, has to be named as dimensional and that is done through the channel options after selecting dimensional. It's important to note that the word dimensional needs to be typed in all caps. That is important. When that file goes through the RIP in prepress, the dimensional file will be extracted so that the actual dimensional color plate can be created and printed on a fifth unit. So once we create our dimensional file, name our file, we're simply going to close this and then go back to our image. And at this point, we're just going to, for the sake of cosmetics, turn our dimensional file off. It doesn't matter if it's selected or not, it will still be picked up. So at this point we're ready to go to press and the key the key ingredient here is how we save this file. So when we go to file and go under save as and we've already gonna go through the part of naming our file which I've already done so I'm gonna name it at our location and this is the important part. The five channel I say the five plate file needs to be saved as a Photoshop DCS 2.0. Uh, this is still a EPS file, but is built, or I say configured, as a DCS file. And DCS stands for Desktop Color Separation. This will allow for the file to have more than four colors. So, for instance, our fifth color dimensional file will still be embedded into the one file EPS DCS file. It's important to note that our spot colors needs to be selected. This will ensure that our dimensional file will be embedded within our EPS DCS 2.0 file. The other key thing is that we embed our CMYK profile, which this happens to be the coded Grackle 2006 profile. The Grackle profile is the CMYK color space that our presses print to at highdefcolor.com. So at this point, we're going to save our image, and we're going to have another submenu pop up. And there's three simple selections here that we need to configure. The first is the preview, which is simply going to be an 8-bit pixel preview of the image. Uh, second, and most key important part of this, is the setting of the DCS, the Desktop Color Separation file format. And we make sure this is set to a single file with com color composite. This is important. You can see we have many options here. Uh, we do not want to use the multiple file. If we use a multiple file, that will make five different files for the five different channels. Uh, we do not want that. We want to have a single file 
with a color composite because we are running a color composite workflow through Prepress. This will embed all five color plates in the same file. Now secondly, our encoding simply is going to be the ASCII 85 setting. So from here we click OK and at that point our image has been saved. Now at this point we simply select our image and we upload it to the FTP server at highdefcolor.com and our job will be in production. So that is it. Um, the spot dimensional coding is a really exciting new technology here at highdefcolor.com and keep in mind this is only available with digital printed products. So we appreciate your time. I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and come back and see us for our next one. Have a great day. Thanks.